Hey everybody, Justin with VMP here. This is part two of our ice tank series. I'm in the studio with an actual trunk mounted ice tank. I wanted to do this when we were in the shop before and really like show you the nuts and bolts of one of these commonly fabricated trunk mounted ice tanks, but it was just easier to take it out of the car and do it on the table. So it's a tank, it has a hole, it has fittings, you put it in your trunk, but Nothing's ever that simple on a high performance vehicle. Uh, and, and that's what I wanna talk with you about here today. You can get an ice tank from a lot of different suppliers. A lot of them are hand fabricated and welded. I mean, they're very nice aluminum TIG welding. These can be really, really high quality pieces. And to me, you know, what matters is the feature. Is it going to do what I need it to do on the car? And you can see here that this tank you know, it's got some fittings on it. This looks like the drain line right here. Um, you know, common hardware store, Home Depot style fittings, um, some rubber heater hose. Uh, you know, rubber heater hose, perfectly fine to use on high performance vehicles, works good in an engine bay type environment or, or an engine type environment. But it just, it doesn't seem to give you a whole lot of options. And these are the first things that come to mind uh, having crewed a very fast car at the track. Everything's over on this side, so you're gonna have to hope that your trunk set up with your pump and your wiring and everything is, is all gonna work over here. There's no way to mount the actual pump. I mean, that's gonna be really crucial to the function of your ice tank. When you go to this type of scenario, you usually go to a big aftermarket pump. Sometimes you stay with three quarter inch lines. Sometimes you go all the way up to one inch. And I don't see any provisions or options for that here. A couple things that you know concern me is the drain is going to drain all the water out because it's at the bottom. And when you put ice in there, ice does not flow until it melts. So the way we crew our race car is we drain the water halfway put the ice in, it cools the water, but it still has something to circulate. And then I see the return here is up really high. Um, that's just gonna create aeration. Um, this over here, this is the pickup. This is good, the pickup is low. I see that there's a mount here where you'll have to drill some holes in the trunk to mount it, which sometimes that's inevitable, but if you can avoid it, it's not a bad thing. There's one of these big spin on lids and What's kind of interesting about this tank, a lot of them have vents on top. This one doesn't, but a venting is going to do one big thing for you. It's gonna allow you to get the lid off because if there's pressure in this tank or vacuum, the lid's gonna get stuck and you're gonna end up taking uh, a draft and a hammer to try and pop it loose. Um, finally, the, the thing that I see about this tank is it's kind of hard for you guys to see this right in here over the pickup, but it's very small. And these pumps, they flow a lot, 10, 20 gallons per minute. You need to be able to get a lot of water in there. You need to keep the ice from getting into the pump and clogging it. You know, anytime you have a, a, an accessory or a high performance part on a vehicle, it's not just about what it can do for you to improve performance. It's also about what can go wrong what's the potential for user error? If this intercooler pump does not pump water to your intercooler, your air temps are gonna go sky high, and I hope your timing retard is aggressive enough to save your motor, because the heat coming out of superchargers and even turbochargers is 300 to 400 degrees before the intercooler. That will cause massive runaway detonation and it's, uh, it's very sad. I've seen it happen before. So that's why I think about all these features of these tanks and what could go wrong. You've heard about the good and the bad of ice tanks. What would you wanna see in an ice tank if VMP offered one? Drop some comments, drop some feedback, discuss everything I'm talking about. We'll make the next video on that. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.